We have uh, also with us tonight as a Tribune employee that I, uh, that I want to mention, uh, she's the one who uh, has been instrumental in getting the videos that you'll see. Uh, and so that's Margaret Thompson. She's our official community star videographer. And uh, we thank her for the work that she's done. Well, 13 years ago, we started this program as an idea that uh, that we brought here from our paper in Steubenville. There's only two of these that we know of in captivity, one here and one in Steubenville. Uh, they're still doing theirs, and, and we started ours not long after we got here. Uh, I came uh, uh, shortly before this, but we started this 13 years ago. In the first year, I think we, we had about 150 people here for the program to honor our 10 community stars. We try to give 10 stars a year. Some years we give 11 because we just can't make make a, a hard decision or there's two people who get the award or something like that. But uh, So there are over 120 stars that have been awarded this uh, honor in the 13 years. We'll have 10 more tonight, but uh, I guarantee you uh, these are really special people, all 120 of them have done great work in this community and have become real uh, leaders, real givers of their self, givers of their time without any expectation of return of any kind. So when we honor them at a Community Stars Banquet, it's a heartfelt honor that we want to bestow upon them. We want them to feel as though they are important to this community because they are and they will be. It's just the way they are made. But we are very honored to be part of that uh, program and we are absolutely thrilled that you all have taken the time to come here tonight to be with us. And I don't think we've had, obviously with the largest group here, I don't know that we've had a more beloved group of stars because all of them have several people here representing them to support them. But we also have in the room about, we counted up, about 20 previous or former Community Star winners, honorees. This time I'd like for anyone who has won a Community Star up to this point to stay there.
and to institutions which make life worth living. Institutions like museums, parks, historical landmarks, and the I-80 Belmont Corridor, which welcomes people into Trumbull County. And of course, we also support worthy causes like the Community Stars. We're so proud of that. Um, the, uh, uh, the Trumbull 100 also supports uh, things like Chautauqua. And uh, if you don't know what Chautauqua is, it's a terrific, giant event held in a tent in downtown Warren. And what they do is they bring to life historical reenactments um, to the delight of citizens sitting on wooden folding chairs. It's a wonderful event. Um, we also uh, have provided the handrails upstairs in the balcony of Pack Music Hall uh, so that our most fragile citizens could get up and down the stairs without falling down and without the city getting sued. Uh, so that's what we do. That's what we do. People want to know what we do. That's what we do. Um, and uh, none of us get paid. We just love the idea of attracting business to Trumbull County. We love the idea of, of having good resources for our citizens to enjoy. That's all. That's it. Uh, and I'm going to bring, and I know he was just here, but he's so modest, I have to tell you. Uh, Charles Jarvis is also a member of Trumbull 100. Uh, he's a meat and potatoes newspaper man. And uh, he has been the publisher of the Tribune Chronicle since 1998. So please let me reintroduce and please give a warm community star support Trumbull County welcome to Charles Chart. Please, thank you.
That's what these folks have done. It's what all of you have done, the honorees tonight. So we have Lisa Booz and Kay Fisher and Mary Ann Franklin, Pastor Frank Glenn, Gary Vitilius, Pearson Butcher, Selena Rockenfelder, E. Carol Maxwell, Barney McCauley, and of course, Heather Wells. Congratulations. You know, this is not to be taken lightly. Uh, you're honored tonight because you've done something special. And I am thrilled that the newspaper in this town uh, understands it, they honor it, they support it, and they're going to continue this for as long as we have great people standing up and, uh, and building up uh, our communities and uh, helping to give people an even better chance to do well. Thank you. It's an honor for me to be able to speak to you for a few minutes, and God bless. started this uh, program, we had a master of ceremonies who read all of the stuff about each of the um, winners and all that, and uh, that lasted for a couple of years, and we decided we needed to make a change, so I uh, got fired. <laughs> and, uh, finally, <laughs> after two years, we were able to bring upon uh, the, the podium a uh, young man who has worked at the Tribune Chronicle for 26 years, and he uh, really does love doing this each year. And uh, so at this time, I'm going to introduce the gentleman who's done this for the past 11 years, Mr. Guy.